cracking YouTube, Kyle here. I need an O-ring for my cartridge filter. And luckily I have a paramotor buddy over in Shreveport who lives right by the pool place. So I called over there and bought it and he said he would pick it up. And I'm gonna take a field trip today to Gillum, Louisiana and meet up with John, get my O-ring and do some evening paramotor flying. Just a tidbit. You probably want to go ahead and crank it before you leave the house just to make sure it'll crank. You know, you get out to the field and there's problems. May not have the tools or the time to get it done. I'm gonna make a side adjustment on the carb. It's akin to choking it. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. It's handy to keep a little screwdriver for uh, fine tuning the carb. A little magnet. So I just talked to John. He says it's gusting 10 to 13. Looking pretty nice. I'm game. You know, legend has it that out here in this cornfield, there's a pocket knife that a man once dropped from the sky. Strong but doable. Nice. So I'm straight up chilling, waiting on John. Did a test flight. I guess you saw. Very nice evening though. I can hear the drag races in the distance. Figured John would be here right around now. It's uh, 548. I guess he did say six, so he's got 12 minutes. Yeah, you don't usually get wind around here. It's nice when it's smooth. I see John coming down the road. Hey, you remember me? I know, dude. Where you been? How's it, how's oh, it going, great, dude? What's the plan, John? Go orbit the races a couple times? Yeah, races maybe down to the bridge. Can you hear me breathing? Nice. Yeah, they do races out here at this track just about every Saturday. That's pretty dang awesome. Not very many people here this weekend. Kids waving at me. I'll come back and do a low pass for them. Awesome. Tracksters. Bumps used to bother me after I did a couple of SIV courses. Now I, just, I laugh when I get collapses. You know, it gives you that confidence that you know what to do, that you've done it. I really recommend the SIV for anybody that flies paragliders. Whether you're a motor pilot or a mountain pilot, I think I'm going to try to go Facebook Live. I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to hover too long. I'm on E-Zone over here by the Red River Bridge. One night I was over here flying and that little patch of water was brush and it was full of deer. There must have been 15 or 16 white-tailed deer in that little patch of wood. They would run to the edge and turn and run right back in it. Man, everything is groomed and ready to plant. Let's speed this thing up. Feel that speed. Put the toggles away. That's the Red River. That is Louisiana Highway number two. The northernmost bridge on the Red River, Louisiana, is this one right here. Hey, y'all! <laughs> Motorcycle guy, he was giving me the fist pump. <laughs> Had a car following me. You get these little oxbow lakes coming off the Red River. A little bayou action. Kind of makes me wonder, like, should you eat fish that come out of these things? Because they spray pesticides, and you know some of it gets into that water, and then it gets into the fish. If you catch the fish and eat the fish, it gets into you. I forgot that I had the dang, uh, 
GoPro pole here with me. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, seems to ride pretty good just as is there. Isn't that where you dump dead bodies over by the interstate? I wonder what it would be like to land with a selfie pole sticking out. Sounds dangerous. I don't know, I may give it a shot though. Feels really, really nice out tonight. I don't know where John went. I kind of lost him over here earlier. He was sort of hanging around the airport. He had a girlfriend there, so. I'm gonna go down here by the racetrack, do a low pass. Woo, bump me down here. I guess you could really see it out there at the end of that camera. <laughs> Ashley. Hey John. <laughs> Woo. Guess John's packing it up for the evening. And I'm gonna put this uh, GoPro stick out to my side, kind of turn it sideways with me. And I'm just going to see if I can get out of the harness into a landing configuration and see if it works. All right, let's see what we're cooking with here. <laughs> it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Good flight, yeah? Yeah, it was fun. Man, what a beautiful evening. I can't get over it. <laughs> Man, I got more junk clipped to junk. It didn't, it wasn't unsafe by any means, but you know, you got to do some fiddle faddle with it to make it right. Got the O-ring. We good. Did that. That was fun. Levi. I'm gonna go grill out. Cook me some steak, cook me some chicken, cook me some pork. I think I'm just gonna buy some all of it and put it out there on the grill and good night.